Today I am going to show you how to create a repeated text pattern like this one using a brush. This technique will come very handy when designing playful posters like this example here. Let's jump right in and get started. First, I am going to turn off the text layer I created earlier and switch to the layer above. This text was created a while back in another project of mine, so I just imported it here for this tutorial. Since I want to create my repeating text pattern in different sizes, I'll need to select a pen pressure sensitive brush. For this demonstration, I'll choose the fill circle brush. Of course, feel free to use whatever brush works the best for your project. I am going to leave the foreground and the background settings as they are. Let's activate the edit brush settings. In this general section of the panel, you'll find all the different brush settings. I previously modified my brush to include a rotation feature, but since I won't need it, I'll turn it off. Let's go to the brush tip section and click on the text tab. We'll start by choosing a font. Clicking this button opens a new panel where you can select your font, style, and size. At the bottom, you'll see a preview window displaying your choices. Finally, there is a section for people using different writing systems. Click the drop-down menu to see the available language options. Keep in mind that not all languages have the same number of fonts. Let me show you a few examples. Before leaving this section, and if you are French like me, or if you are using a language with accented letters, make sure to choose the Latin option. Since we'll be writing an English text, I'll select any, as it includes only fonts without accents. It's time to pick a font. I like the luckiest guy, it's a fun font. Since it only has one style, I'll skip that option and go straight to the size, choosing the largest one, 72. We are done here, so let's click OK. Below the font box selection, you'll find the text input box. Type your text here, whether it's a single word or full sentences. Now let's test the brush. As you can see, applying less pressure makes the letters smaller, while more pressure on the stylus makes them larger. We're almost done. The last step is to adjust the spacing between the repeating text. A value of 197 works well, but feel free to experiment with the different values depending on your project. Use the scratch pad and keep testing different values until you're happy with what you see. The great things about this text brush is that no matter which direction you draw, the spacing between sentences will always remain consistent. We are done here, so we can close the panel. Now let me show you what you can do and cannot do with this new brush. You can change the color. You cannot change the size. This is because we set the font size earlier to 72. That's why using a pen pressure sensitive brush is so important. Uh, you can control the size by adjusting the pressure on your stylus. 
you will also notice that you cannot use the brush rotation feature. All right, back to things we can do. You can modify the opacity and the flow, just like any other brush. I believe I showed you everything you need to know, so let's get started and create our pattern. Now, please forgive the simplicity of this demonstration as I am not a professional designer. The first thing that you are going to do is choose a color. Start painting your text on the canvas, applying different levels of pressure on your stylus. Remember, you can draw in any direction. When you are done with your design, don't forget that you can lower the opacity of your layer for a softer effect. You may also use any of the blending modes available. Now that this part of the design is done, let me quickly reorganize my big text and catch up with you in a few seconds. If you want to adjust the angle of your text, use the transform tool to rotate it. And even enlarge it if needed. And that's it, you're done. Press the window key plus the period key on your keyboard to open the emoji panel. Not all emojis may work, so be sure to test them out. You can use one or multiple emojis, so have fun experimenting. That's it for today. Have a wonderful time creating. I will see you next time.